Good morning ladies and gentlemen, my name is Scarecrow and today I have got a quick tutorial video on the concepts and basics of paddle ships. Um, paddle ships I found are quite an easy way to um, control a ship. Um, it makes a very straight walk forward to uh, drive a ship but it is a little bit difficult to actually get the paddle ship set up in the first place and also there is a few issues of control with a paddle ship as well, but we'll get into that in, about, in, a, in a second. So, what I've got here is the basics, the basic concept of um, paddle ships. Firstly, being that the paddle ships run paddles, which are basically spin blocks that are controlled by um, these uh, complex controllers. So, here we've got a normal spin block. This is a precision spin block, and it's attached to a couple of blocks of wood. And all you really need to do um, is when you set up the this, you need to go to the controls, press Q, and you'll see here. Uh, this is a GUI, GUI that you'll see on pretty much everything, um, but getting this set up to run a paddle ship is a little bit difficult. Yeah. So, for example, um, we have got uh, this set up to spin round one way with U and spin the other way with J. Yeah? So we can see here U J. Nice and easy. Yeah. Now this will require to you to um, hold down the button but that's when we get into the different control methods. So we've got instant spin, continuous and rotatable. Rotatable is more if you just want to spin it a few times. Um, continuous is it just keeps spinning. And instant spin is basically it spins uh, as you're pressing the button. Now, the drive factor basically pulls in uh, power from uh, a motor. So this is more used, I find, for using helicopters, which I haven't really tested yet. But the thing that you want to uh, keep an eye on here is the drive uh, fraction. The drive fraction basically means how fast the block will spin when you activate it. Now at, num at 1 this will go a maximum of 30 spins per second. This is very fast. See? Spins per fa Very very fast. Okay? Now when you first set up your paddle ship this will be this will be too fast to control your vehicle. Um, it will just sort of skip across the water and it won't actually go anywhere. So you've got to bring the drive, uh, the drive fraction down. I found uh, to be about uh, between uh, point 0.2 and point 0.3 is about the best place. So you'll see this is uh, this is actually not it doesn't look that fast here, but when you've got four paddles uh, going through the water, it actually is quite effective. So that's the basics of the getting the paddles set up, uh, get, getting the control system in place for the paddles. Um, I don't think anyone would really need to know of how to build a paddle. Um, it's really just uh, putting the wooden blocks and then attaching the paddles trying to get them all facing the right way um, is a little bit of a f uh, is a little bit of a pain but yeah and so we'll see here that my control method for these paddles um, just ignore that that's not actually being used uh, this control is um, forward and reverse forward and reverse yeah so a positive act a positive signal and a negative signal now Keeping in mind that when you're setting up your paddle ship, um, the ship's paddles will be mirrored. So as one spins one way, on the opposite side it'll have to spin the other way. Yeah. So on the right hand side I've got the instant spin, and on the left hand side I have got reverse. Yeah. So go forward, then go back nice and easy yeah now I did have this paddle ship set up so that um, when you move when you want to move side to side using the H 
and K keys then it basically turned the ship one way it basically put the paddles on the right hand side active one way and then put the other paddles on the other side in reverse and then vice versa for travelling the other way but I found when you do that the ship tends to turn on on its centre like a tank which isn't really too uh, useful um, when you're in combat because you're basically a sitting duck yeah so what I've done is I've actually put on the side propellers so the side propellers activate uh, in equal uh, and opposite ways from each other so on the right hand side we've got the positive K negative H on the left hand side we've got negative K and positive H so as what when we're tr trying to turn one way then the one propeller spins positively and the other one spins negatively so they both basically give the double power when you're turning yeah so just pressing the keys on their own basically just rocks the ship but if we go into actual um, forward motion we'll see that the ship does turn okay now the speed of this ship um, I haven't found it to get uh, get that fast um, this might work better with uh, larger ships that are hard, uh, harder to move um, you can see that my, my ship here, the Independence is quite a large ship um, there is quite a lot of space to be and work to be done to it um, you could probably set this up as a starter, bar uh, starter cruiser or battleship um, just to have a look, I've got um, 4 missile systems, each with 6 missiles um, and I've got the torpedoes underneath as well those are all set up um, in the front here there is quite a lot of space I've got the fire control system for the torpedoes under there uh, all the fire controls are in here for the for the up facing missiles and I was actually going to put a big massive turret on here in the future um, so yeah this ship is quite stable um, and it isn't, I wouldn't say it's fast but it is quite stable for a, a large ship and it is very um, a constant speed as well and I found that the UI sorry that the AI to control the ship is not too bad as well yeah now the thing is um, I did try putting uh, t uh, rudders on this ship but I could not for the life of me get the rudders to work on the ship yeah for some reason the putting rudders on the ship um, doesn't seem to work with the GUI to set up with the, the complex controller um, for example I'll show you on this, sh uh, this ship here yeah so this ship here has got um, rudders on here and I've also put on the, uh, the ship's wheel because I thought the ship's wheel would uh, actually control the rudders but for some reason it doesn't um, the only thing it the only thing it turns is the propellers that I've got on the side but even if I like um, remove the propellers even if I remove the propellers try to steer it again doesn't do anything, rudders don't move. Yeah, the the complete the the ship's wheel uh, doesn't seem to work with um, paddle wheels because paddle wheels are only controlled by complex controllers. So trying to control rudders with uh, co complex controllers, I can't seem to get it to work. And for some reason. Um, when you have a ship's wheel and a complex controller, the ship wheel seems to override everything. And then when you remove the ship's wheel, then the control comes back as normal. Okay, so uh, as you already noticed, this is quite a short video. This is just to get you set up with the basics of getting uh, paddle boats started. So um, you should be able to see here how the Paddle, paddle is set up. You've got the, you've got the spin block. I use a precision spin block, 
and you can see how you get these set up to go back and forth and you just put on these as just put on these um, these control methods uh, to get the, the side to side motion as well but I would use side propellers so if I see here forward and backwards negative and positive yeah so I hope this helps to anyone that's been trying to figure out how to do paddle box um, with hopefully uh, if you take off the work that I've already done you might be able to find a, a method to get the ships faster but I found that um, putting the drive friction the drive fraction up doesn't make it faster um, it gets to a point where the paddles no longer grip to the water and they just kind of splash a bit on top so I'll actually show you here so putting up the drive train put it right up to maximum number one do the same here right up to maximum number one maximum and then one last one maximum so this will be the drive train this will be the drive fraction that the spin blocks will start with um, and it took me a while how to figure this out so you'll see that it just kind of skips along the water actually that's really fast Okay, well, I never noticed that before. So, as you can see, uh, we've actually managed to get this quite fast. 13, 14, about 12, 13 meters per second. It doesn't look fast though. I think what, ha what eventually happened was I actually had, I put the, the, the paddles on the back and um, with the drivetrain that high up, the paddles just did not grip, and it just kind of splashed a bit on the water. But with the with the four paddles on there, it seems to work pretty pretty okay. Okay, well, so you learn something every day. So anyway, I hope that uh, explains a lot on how to get paddle ships set up in uh, from the depths. Um, Hope you enjoy your building and your battling. Thanks for watching.